Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Chris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Chris and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is no peace, war is coming. Brothers and sisters, Jesus himself has said that I am not coming to bring peace, but strife. No peace, but the sword. And this will be fulfilled now in the sealed tribulation. If you read the book of Revelation, you know that war is coming. You know that famines are coming. You know that pestilences are coming. And you know that death and Hades are coming. So do not listen to the prophets who are telling you, Oh, a golden time will start now. Oh, everything will be perfect for the world. Oh, the Lord will turn the table on the enemy for the whole world, for all of his creation. That is a lie from the pit of the hell. It's not true. Far from the truth. The truth is that there will be no peace on earth. That new pestilences will come, stronger than what we have ever seen. That famines is coming over the whole world. It is written in Lukilili that everyone on the face of the earth will enter the snare. And that, brothers, includes also you and me, all the ones who have vo volunteered. But you will be the rock in the storm. To be a rock in the storm, there must be a storm. To be a beacon in the, the light of light in the darkness, there must be darkness. And the Lord has shown us many times over that when the portal opens, the darkness, the third part of the angels, the fallen angels, will come onto the earth. The darkness will cover the earth, and the doctrines of Luc Lucifer will be, will be preached through the Antichrist. It is a time for the sealed tribulation. No peace. No turning of the tables for the world or for the churches. The churches will be shaken to the core. The churches must wake up from their slumber and they will do that through all those things that will come down onto the earth. What do you think what it is? Just a meteor shower that will pass in two minutes, that will burn out in the outer atmosphere? No. These are the dark entities that are coming onto the earth that will change this world to the new world order, that will prepare the way for the Antichrist to come after two and a half years of harvest. And this two and a half years of harvest will also be done during tribulation, brothers and sisters. I hear many words outside there where people say, Oh, I have heard from the Lord that everything will be perfect, that we will return to normal, that all will be done, that peace will be here, that he will change it for us all. No! He is here to bring judgment onto the earth. The heaven is merging with the earth and that means sins will be pushed out and that is a declaration of war against the enemy. That's a declaration of war against the evil flood. And you are prepared as warriors for what purpose? To, to be a toothless warrior in a time of peace? No, to be a powerful warrior standing on the battlefields in the time of war. You will be standing against this fallen entities that will come down onto the earth when the portal will open. You will stand against that evil flood that is coming, those things that will come down onto the earth. You will stand in the gap for the lost sheep against them. There will be no peace, brothers and sisters. Understand this. I do not want that you go into the false direction now. Do not trust these voices. They are speaking from their own agenda, from their own hoping of their own heart. Judgments are coming. Tribulations are coming. Suffering is coming for all the ones that are not standing with the kingdom of God. And you know that the innocent ones will be removed. So if the innocent ones are moved, then what remains? The ones who are guilty. The ones who are sleeping. The ones who are not ready. And of course the volunteer bride, who have volunteered to stay, to help to bring these unprepared people through the washing of their garments and the blood of the Lamb to Mount Zion, where they will be guided into paradise by the Lord himself, as we have seen in 2 Esther chapter 13. This is a time of trouble that is coming. And in all this trouble, when the Lord says the world will stand in perplexity, 
and the world will be standing in fear for all those things that are coming down onto the earth. It will be felt. There will be a lot of darkness there. This darkness will be on, on the mood of the people. The people will get crazy. They will be fighting. They will be raping. They will be murdering. There will be gangs moving forward. There will be strife. There will be father against son, son against father, daughter against mother, mother against daughter. There will be all this fighting coming forth. All what is written in the book of Revelation will come to pass. Why do you think it is written, Malachi, that Elijah must come to the end to reconcile all of this from the strife into one unity, into peace, so that at the beginning of the trumpets, first half of trumpet, Jesus can then be on earth. That will be then for the first half of trumpets, a golden age. That will be the preparation for the kingdom, the building of the temple. All this will come to pass, but not now. The sealed tribulation is to shake the world and the heavens, as we have seen in what the Lord has revealed about the Revelation 12 sign. The heaven was shaking since 2017, and now these entities that were standing against the throne of God will be thrown down onto the earth from the tail of the dragon. And when the portal opens, they will fall onto the earth. Darkness will cover the earth. All will begin. And then, because of this, that is a spirit, a spirit of darkness that will enter the vessels who are willing to accept it. And they will start to make war with one another and the nations with one another. It will be much more terrible. This dark spirit will enter Putin, will make him more crazy, so crazy that he might use nuclear weapons. It will enter Xi Jinping. It will enter this little guy in, in North Korea. It will enter all the other people that are ready made for this time. It will enter the leaders of Iran so that they attack Israel or Israel to attack Iran. This is the spirit that is coming. You see, you have that spirit from heaven, the Revelation 12 sign woman coming onto the earth, heaven merging with the earth. At the same time, the enemy is bringing a spirit of darkness. There is this duality. You need to understand this. There is no peace coming. Do not follow these voices. Do not follow these channels, no matter how tempting they are. These voices will fall void. There is no peace coming. Strife is coming. The sword is coming. You need to be prepared for the worst. You need to be prepared and to know what is coming. And then you need to seek the kingdom and the Father first so that she can then give you the resources in the times of troubles when there are actually no resources. But you will get them because you will fight for the kingdom and you will have the spirit of heaven and not the spirit of darkness. Why do you think how it is possible that the Antichrist will rule the whole world? Because of these fallen things that come down onto the earth, the spirit of darkness that will grab so many people in this world so that they will accept him, that they will see him as a glorious hero that he claims to be. But he is a fake one, a fake savior. He is an antichrist that will come. He promised to bring order out of chaos, this chaos that will come through that darkness. Brothers and sisters, I'm just telling you this so that you are prepared. Do not fall into that trap. Do not listen to what these people say. Oh, the Lord has tell, told me from this day forward, everything will be perfect for all of us. All will be turned over and everything will be wonderful. No, no, and double no. It is not true. The book of Revelation will be fulfilled to the yod and the tittle. Everything will be fulfilled. And you can see clearly what is coming. After the white rider Jesus Christ, 40 days here and everything has begun. Then war is coming and that will accelerate to World War III. And because of these wars, we will then have famines all over the place. The prices for food will go up dramatically. And we will have pestilences coming, new pestilences. Also, because of this war and this strife. There might be attacks on chemical laboratories and laboratories that are specializing on, on very bad pestilences. And they might come out into the open and they will run all through the earth. And all of them who are not protected by the Lord, who are not standing for the kingdom, will be affected. 
So do not have one leg in the world, because then one half of your body will be affected. Have both legs in the kingdom of God. And have volunteered. Be a warrior in the remnant army. Be build a place for the Lord, a dwelling place of Zion, so that he can protect it, because that's what he has promised in the scripture, that he will put a, a protection at the head of protection around every dwelling place of Zion. It's in the scripture. If you're not a dwelling place of Zion, and if you're not part of a dwelling place of Zion, then you are part of the world, and the darkness will enter you, and the darkness will torment you, and all this, what is coming on this earth, will reach you. There is no golden age. No peace is coming. No changing of the tables for the world and the churches. Nothing like that. The revival that is coming will come because of suffering, will come because of judgments, will come because of tribulations, will come because of everything that is coming down onto the earth. That's the reason why you have a revival. Because in their, in their fear, in their, in their, in their, Helplessness, they will come forth and then seek the Lord. And some of them will do it in earnest and they will return to the kingdom. And that will bring in the harvest. And we will be the guiding shepherds to bring them to Mount Zion. We will be someone to speak the truth. Why all this is happening? And why they see themselves now in very deep water? It's time to speak forth the truth and to reject all the truth. The words that say peace, peace, peace. I'm telling you, nay, war, war, war. Famine, pestilences are coming. Darkness will cover the earth. And then death will be your daily bread. And then Hades will come. And the Antichrist will rise to full power and he will bring in the doctrines of Lucifer. And that will be a lot of slaughter, brothers and sisters. A lot of death. That will be a lot of people going to the shepherd, a lot of people that will die, and many of them for their faith. But you know that these who die for their faith will then also go to paradise. You have this pattern to the thieves on the cross. One thief said, I believe you, Jesus, you are the one. And he had not repented or done anything, but Jesus told him, today you will be with me in paradise. That is a pattern to the people who die for their faith. Some of them in the church of Smyrna will die for their faith. Not all. Some of them. It's all written there. Only some of them. So do not worry if you belong to Smyrna. It does not mean you have to die. But you have to stand for the kingdom as a harvest worker. And you have to be a powerful warrior on the battlefields against this evil flood. Whenever you see the lies and deceit of the enemy, you have to speak not over them. Not to say they are lies and deceit. No. Counter them with the truth of heaven that was revealed to you over the last seven years here at Triple Grace and at other channels. The truth will set them free. Not everyone can be rescued, brothers and sisters. We know this. But please understand, no peace is coming. No wonderful and miraculous change of environment is coming. No golden age for the church is coming. The revival will not come within the churches per se. The revival will come because of their root awakening, because of their suffering, because of their understanding now that they were wrong, and because of the harvest workers that will speak forth the truth. And some of the people in the churches will then accept it, will then follow the guidance of the shepherd of the harvest workers and then reach as a multitude closed and wide the sixth seal and the, and I put it now in brackets and the rapture of the church. There might be no rapture of the church. It can be just a guiding into paradise. And the true harpazo will be seen now with the bride. The escape of the innocent. You have to understand what that means. When the innocent are removed, then the guilty ones will remain. And for the guilty ones, there is only one thing, judgment. Judgment, strife, murderous gangs, fighting of brothers and sisters, fighting of one another, fighting between nations, and World War III. 
famines will come. Bread will be so expensive that many people cannot afford it. There will be a lot of suffering coming. Pestilences will rage through the world that, that there will be no uh, injection or anything that will help. Many people will die. You have the fourth seal of death. When it mentions death there, it's not one or two. It is a lot. Antichrist will kill people for their faith. And Hades will cover the earth. But all this will come to a pass. And the Lord has promised for all these ones for belonging to the women of Revelation 12, the spirit of heaven, that they will be taken in the wilderness where he has prepared the places for them, the safe havens, during that terrible, most terrible time of the Antichrist. Remember, brothers and sisters, these words, when you enter the tribulations, they are tribulations, they are not celebration. War is coming, not peace. Famine is coming, not riches. Yes, there is a wealth transfer, but not for the common people, not for the world, not for the churches. The wealth transfer is coming for kingdom purposes. I have told you that many times. This wealth transfer comes so that you can build the places in the wilderness, that everything will be prepared, that you can bring in the harvest, but nothing else. It is not for you to drive a Rolls Royce or to have a plane. It is for the harvest work, for kingdom purposes only. So when you hear so many voices telling you, oh, the Lord will turn the tables. Yes, the Lord will turn the tables, but only for the harvest workers and only for the warriors on the battlefields. Not for the sleeping churches, not for the lukewarm, not for the world, and especially not for the side of the enemy. No peace, but war. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.